Well, hello, friends. We meet again in my messy kitchen. That's where we always meet, right? So, you see, my counter's overflowed with stuff. Upcoming videos coming up with that, but quick preview, I got myself a new pan. Super exciting. Yes, I get excited about a new pan. There's the dishes. There's the reality of the house as we get started. Who knows what's going on there? Oh, it's just, it's a mess. It's a complete disaster, but we're going to get it picked up. Also, I'd like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You can get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter promo code LARGEFAMILYTABLE80. Oh my, where are we now? That's my pantry, friend. Can you believe that? It explodes. Like all of life, we have our little systems, we have things organized in there, and then you see what happens is when I go and do those Sharp Shopper discount hauls and things get loaded in there, and then I had had two days, the two days before I did this cleaning, I was out, I had some lunches with friends, I did some, some shopping, I did some vacation Bible school planning at my church. I just, I was running around like a free and clear woman and my family was at home working through those sharp shopper snacks. So I had to get the boxes and everything out. Like how I like to do my organizing, and you've seen this before, I just try to pull as many things out as possible. Another thing I did not care for was the new snow cone machine and the ice cream maker had been put in the pantry and I knew I needed to find new homes for them because I just don't have room in this closet pantry for any kind of kitchen appliances. They must actually live in the kitchen. But I tried to just put like things together, get things kind of organized. I put all the little puddings I got, pudding packs I got on discount at Sharp Shopper in like a hot dog basket together. I was trying there at that moment to leave the snow cone machine in there, but I do finally come to my senses and say, no, it just, it cannot. But I give it a good sweep. I pulled all the big items out. I still have bags and bags of confectioner sugar. If you know, if you need confectioner sugar, come to my house. But there's my 25 pound bag of rice and my big bag of oatmeal. And this is what the pantry looks like clean in my world, woohoo. Yes, I can close the door on that one, but now here's the reality aftermath. These are the things in my hallway that I do not want to go back to the pantry. We had a busted box of tea and other odds and ends and an empty well, box of K-cups I ended up putting away. And all the packages there are stacked up for Mr. Benjamin's second birthday. So now, gonna start working on tidying up this kitchen. Of course, yes, let Daniel in for a bathroom break. And I work on, I don't utilize the space or the, nor the cabinets on top of my refrigerator very well, but I decide, you know what, I could just move things around up there and wipe things off, and that's where the ice cream maker and the snow cone maker could live for now. The kids had been out at piano and doing other things, but they are back now, so you'll see them running through. Here's the next cabinet we are going to tackle. So again, pull it out, pull it out, girlfriend. That's right, I pull it out. And even though many of these items are gonna go back into this cabinet, it's I find it helpful when I at least pull things out wipe down the shelves, wipe down the items, especially because that's our peanut butter cabinet. That is pretty important, okay? I get peanut butter, kids get peanut butter, and so it can get on things. Things can spill, get little crumbs in there. Gotta keep that peanut butter and honey accessible at all times. Yes and amen. I also have a lot of my mama vitamins and kid vitamins, various supplements up there, so I'm gonna pull all those out and wipe down that shelf as well. And then on the top, I have different baking items and almond flour and peanut flour and quinoa and collagen and <laughs> so many things that just need to be pulled down, wiped off, little bit reorganized, and then put back in place. There's some various sugar substitutes that are going up there. I can't pronounce them all right, so I'm not gonna even try. <laughs> I have my emergency coffee creamer, should I run out, stevia packets. These emergencies happen, especially since I live so far from stores. I'm like, I'm not going to find myself without coffee or coffee creamer. No, I am not. There you go. At least it's fresh. Better than nothing. And now, there's something for everyone with HelloFresh, from family recipes to calorie smart and vegetarian meals. 
and fun menu series like Hall of Fame and Kraft Burgers. You can also add extra meals to your weekly order, as well as yummy sides and desserts like garlic bread and cookie dough. But real quick, before I dive into my HelloFresh cooking this evening, I had some drama, some refrigerator drama mama. We had a shelf that had fallen down a little bit, had a slow cooker in there that needed to come out. I did not want to do a full dedicated clean out, but I just did a quick tidy up and wipe things out. Now, you get to see a preview of my new pan. Aren't you excited? So I get some oil going in my new pan, and then I get all the ground beef for our beef ragu spaghetti. And I always appreciate the step-by-step -step recipes at them, the pre-measured ingredients. You'll have everything you need for a wow-worthy dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. So I figured I could get this going while I work through and get different cleaning things done. So I get my meat going, now I'm going to get out all my vegetables and all those pre-measured ingredients I mentioned, get them all out and organized. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. Okay, last bag there, getting it all out. I just love noodles in all the form, and so I take any opportunity HelloFresh gives me to have beef ragu spaghetti. This has zucchini in it, which actually all my kids ate it. A few kids were like, hey, there's a pickle in here, but no one took it out. That's where I say that they do have kid-tested and approved recipes. Everyone really liked the spice it up a little different with some zucchini and it had a nice summer flair. So at this point, Travis and the kids are outside because some of you ask, where's your husband? Where's your kids? Do they help you? Well, as I mentioned, they had been out and then they came home and they saw I was filming in the kitchen. So since it's summertime, they could just play outside and that's what they did while I was getting all of this on the stove. I will say now this is something I've learned from YouTube viewers. I've chopped onions. I very rarely have times where onions make my eyes cry in water and then I had a video not too long ago where my eyes were just a mess but one of my viewers pointed out it's because I had my glasses on. When I have my contacts in, yay, I have a layer of onion protection. <laughs> so now we're gonna go after this garlic and gonna get all that chopped up as well. Got the water ready, getting the spaghetti in, using my kitchen knives to open packages and do all the things. And now I'm putting in some of those lovely pre-measured seasonings for me and breaking up that ground beef some more. And so with my ground beef, what I do, little little lazy Jamer L trick, I have my platter there and some napkins. I'm also chatting away with kids. And I just scoop the meat out so it can just gently drain on the platter. And then I'm going to add some oil in and use the little bit of grease that's left. And we're gonna cook the zucchinis and the garlic and the onion in that. And I just give it a good stir. And I'm adding in those seasonings with the veggies. And you're gonna see coming up, we've got some of our biggest messes yet. And I'm gonna get my hair color on my hair. How do you like that? <laughs> so here, I'm realizing with my new pan, I really should have done this recipe in the Dutch oven, but I didn't, because I love my new pan. But I realize after I get the tomato sauce in, I'm not going to have enough room to also get that meat in there. So I just do a one pot wonder let that simmer a few minutes. I put the ground beef in with the drained spaghetti and then put the rest of the sauce in. And then I really, 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 really like this addition. This HelloFresh kit came with these like garlic butter packets. And the next step was for me to add those to this step in the process and then stir it up and it just was melted garlic butter all over the beef ragu spaghetti. I'm telling you, we did not complain. So I'm giving that some big stirs and that's my big Ikea pot that I love. Now I'm gonna add on the grated Parmesan cheese and then I'm gonna put the lid on this and just, it's removed from the heat, lid on, gonna let it simmer a few minutes. I'm going after our homeschool room, dining room, everything room here. You all ask if we have TVs, of course we have several. I have one on the, the stand there that kids can play games on sitting at the table. And here I am, I'm just gonna go through and give it a quick sweep. I just ordered some new homeschool stuff the other day, and I've got our big reading stack all lined up on the shelves. I'm excited about starting some fresh stuff here real soon. And several of you have been asking me for homeschool videos, but don't worry, there'll be some more coming out here shortly. Okay, this is just it. I am, I'm doing it. I'm getting the hair color on my roots. 
yes yes and amen <laughs> we're gonna get I like to get it all brushed out and many of you have asked for me to do a video of me getting my hair color on so here you go get a little bit of everything disaster pantry spaghetti hair color yes that's my L'Oreal preference LBO one and then I mix my colors but I accidentally I spill my bottle and I was so prepared last time I went to Walmart I got two packs of hair color so that I would have one for next month but oops since I spilled okay I'm just gonna deal with it and use the second pack instead but now that I've got the color all mixed up I put my gloves on being all super professional and we're gonna go after go after those roots so I just divide my hair in sections now I have been coloring my hair for probably 23 years or so now so I don't need, you know, extra mirrors or any other help, just like I can put my contacts in and out without even looking in a mirror. <laughs> you just learn these things over time. So I am just going after all my roots. And with my hair this color, it's always easy to see where the roots are. So all along the root line, I'm just dividing my hair and getting my color on. My grandkids will have a video library of all the things their grandmother did back in the olden days even coloring my hair on the internet the family heritage <laughs> making sure I got all those areas yes yes I put it up in a clip and then I go after go after those edges now serving up dinner and there it is with all the delicious melted cheese which I had a big plate of it in real life right now <laughs> it was so good kids were super excited you know we used to have spaghetti once a week at least and now we might have it once a month so it's always a big favorite big thrill when we get the beef ragu spaghetti from HelloFresh remember HelloFresh is America's best value meal kit and we have certainly been enjoying our HelloFresh deliveries on this evening I just did the one pot wonder you can tell no one minded at all thumbs up from Daniel even big boy Benjamin now two years old oh yum yes noodles yummy <laughs> working on that self-feeding there good job so now this is my cabinet in my bedroom by my sink my personal cabinet which also means all the kids end up getting into it so I have things stacked in layers so as always, what do we do when we clean and organize? We pull everything out and then clean it out and start putting things back in some semblance of order. So I'm pulling out bobby pins, Q-tips, nail polish remover, teeth whitening strips, band-aids, tape. <laughs> Several things I decided in that cabinet could go in our hall bathroom cabinet. Got some makeup up there I bought and never used, boxes of contacts, wiping those shelves out I am glad these cabinets were in the house though I do like them some of you have asked me where they bought them I don't know we did not put them in but I like having nice cabinets in every bathroom okay instant dry Sally Hansen instant dry I wanted to be sure to show you so many of you ask about my nails what I put on my nails I will say sometimes I go and have my nails done every two or three months but in more recent times, I just continue to use my Sally Hansen Quick Dry. I started using Sally Hansen Quick Dry back when Jaden was a baby, almost 19 years ago now. So I've been using it a long time. I usually have five to 10 different colors and I keep whatever color I'm rocking for that week in my purse. And I just give myself quick touch up paint jobs on the go. Since Travis drives us a lot of places, then he can drive and I can do important things like do my nails. Thank you so much for HelloFresh sponsoring today's video. Remember, get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter promo code LARGEFAMILYTABLE80. Click the first link in the description below to get that offer.